Diseases like cancer are caused by genetic mutations in the DNA of our cells. Advances both in genetic testing and precision medicine mean that when a patient is diagnosed with a disease, it's now possible to analyse their DNA to identify the mutations, then prescribe a personalised course of treatment for them, and even preemptive actions for family members if they carry the same mutations in their genes. But how do you read DNA? If we think of DNA like two strings of pearls coiled around each other, each pearl is one of four bases. At the University of Oxford, geneticists use a technology called Illumina Next Generation DNA Sequencing to identify the order in which the bases are encoded within a strand of DNA. It assigns a unique fluorescent label to each base, which makes them easy to recognise. To prepare the DNA for sequencing, they begin by chopping it into fragments. These fragments, known as the DNA library, are attached to a surface at both ends using synthetic DNA. The tiny bridge-like structures are replicated using an enzyme to create clusters which together have a stronger fluorescent signal, making them easier to photograph. They're cut from the surface at one end, ensuring that each cluster of DNA fragments stands vertically like clumps of grass, ready to be read from tips to roots. By aligning, photographing and comparing the sequence of fluorescent bases in DNA from healthy and unhealthy tissue, experts can determine whether a patient was born with a mutation, a hereditary mutation that would have been carried by their ancestors too, or whether it occurred during their lifetime, or a somatic mutation. Telling apart somatic and hereditary mutations is a really important step in the prevention and treatment of all diseases, and not just in humans. From animals to plant life, DNA exists in the cells of every living thing, and this method can be used to read it all. And while it can be used to detect unwanted mutations that make species more susceptible to certain diseases, it can also identify the mutations that make them hardier, healthier, more productive. For more fascinating science, visit our website, subscribe to our channel, or follow us on social media.